Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto and DD Auto and Salvage here in Logan, Utah. Um, I'm going to be listing a bunch of project cars here over the next little bit. Uh, so just going to kind of walk around and show you a couple that are going to be up for sale soon. And then you can just watch for more details coming up. I'm going to post full videos of each car just so you can see what they are and see what they're not. Um, and anyway, so let's get started. So this is a 1964 Plymouth Fury. It's an original 361 automatic car, black with red interior, red stripe. I do have the 361 for it. I just haven't picked it up yet. The car has a title. Um, at one point, it was somebody's hot rod. You can see they arched the wheel wells, but they did kind of a cool job. Pretty solid car, really. It's not bad. Uh, definitely needs restored. Needs, you know, everything that are total project would need interior looks like it's mostly complete but the cool thing about this car is i'm going to be including this car with it because this has a really nice front end um, that car the four-door belvedere is complete so you can either take the car or come and pull whatever parts you want off that car whichever you want but they're going to be coming as a package deal the fury does have a title the belvedere can have a title um, then i've got this 37 willies over here uh, this is just going to be a race car project. It's not quite ready to go yet. I've got to do a couple things as far as getting the paperwork ready. Um, has a 41 front clip on it that's fiberglass. It's the heavy duty fiberglass though. Um, so that's going to be available. This is a 1981 Firebird. Has a Chevy 454 in it. It does run and yard drive, but it also needs some help. The torque converter bolts are loose. So you hear them hitting in there when it's running. Uh, and it needs a radiator, but it's pretty complete. That car is going to be available. In fact, it's probably ready anytime. Um, the satellite nor the charger are available. They're already sold. I've got the 65 Chevy K20. It's kind of rough but it's complete and it is a real k20 four-wheel drive 65 uh, which are pretty unique pretty rare so that's going to be available here soon and i'll do a full video on that we've got this i believe it's a 38 or 36 dodge truck this thing runs and drives has a chevy 350 in it um it's going to be available it's pretty cool just need to do some cleanup work and uh then it will be ready to go has a title <clears throat> excuse me and that one really doesn't need much to be a daily driver if somebody wanted uh we've got this jeep j20 it is a 401 bucket seats this one's going to be listed pretty soon i've got to do a couple things for it and then it will be good to go i've got 271 chevys one is an impala and one is a caprice i believe I'm going to sell those as a pair. I'm just waiting to get the title work back on them. Uh, since a whole bunch of people had said that this car needs to be saved because it's a real Cuda, this car is going to be available. Uh, I've just got to do the paperwork on it. Uh, but guys, there's really nothing to save. But I will list it for sale so that somebody can have a, an opportunity to, to try to save it. But there's really nothing here. There's no floor. There's no firewall. There's no frame rails. I mean, there's there's nothing. It's it's scrap metal essentially, barely even parts. Uh, but to match the two thirds Cuda, I now have a two thirds Challenger. But that is a whole nother story. That's going to go with the seventy one Challenger that I have that I'm going to sell. Um, the seventy Challenger is sold. Sixty seven Barracuda convertible. That's just for parts. But if you need parts, I've got that. I've got the sixty seven Barracuda notchback for parts. The 66 Coronet 500 right here is for parts. 67 Dart for parts. 67 Dart over here for parts. The 78 Aspen. Um, the 78 Ranchero over here is available as a part or a project car, has a title. Uh, did run, but I haven't tried for a while. Um, that one's gonna be pretty cheap. Uh, just literally make a, a reasonable offer. Uh, I've got the 70 Ford F100 Sport Custom. That's available as project. The 73 Satellites Parts. Torino is parts. 73 Coronet Four Door. This is a project. It's actually pretty much complete. 
Uh, I don't know if it runs or not. Just has a 318 automatic. Has a little rust here and there. Would be great to make like a uh, police car clone or something out of just for fun. Uh, this car is sold. This is actually out of all the cars that I offered for really cheap a little while back because everybody wanted to save the 73 GTX. This is the only one that sold. And nobody even contacted me about the GTX, even after everybody said it needed saved and they would come and buy it and get it. And I offered it for $600 and nobody took it. Um, so it's parts only now. This 74 satellite is parts only, but there's a lot of good parts. Interior is completely gone and drivetrain's completely gone as far as sold. Uh, like I said, the 73 GTX, parts only. Uh, 73 satellite, parts only. Interior is all sold out of it. 73 satellite also parts only and then the 74 gtx this is going to be the last time i offer this car as a project after that it is a parts only car um it is a real 1974 roadrunner gtx 440 automatic it was a promo car there were like five of them and they're all in sequence uh, I think three of them are known and they're in pretty good condition. This one's the worst one that's known and then there's one unknown. Uh, but it's original blue on blue, super rusty, does have a title, does have a fender tag. Um, and like I said, it is an actual promo with the M code and the Vaughn number. That one's available. Uh, not 100% sure what I'm gonna do on the 72 Duster here yet. Uh, that one, well, I'll worry about that later. The 75 Duster, parts only, but there's a lot of really good parts. 73 Duster, parts only, also lots of really good parts, has a slant six in it. Um, that one does have big bolt disc brakes, this one does not. Uh, the little Honda 90, that is available, I even have the engine for it. Uh, 73 Dart Swinger, obviously parts only. 75 Dart Sport, parts only as you can see it's pretty stripped 68 dodge dart 270 this car has a 273 and an automatic in it it's supposed to run and drive it just mice ate the uh, spark plug wires so i think i'm gonna actually get this one going and try to sell it as a runner driver uh but if you're interested hit me up this new yorker is super cool and the video for it this full one kind of going over it will be uploaded here very shortly 70 Coronet Wagon, also available. That one's available right now. Um, video will be uploaded on it very shortly as well. We've got the 71 Challenger here. This is gonna be for sale as a project. This is the one that that back half that I pointed to earlier goes to. It just has some rust in the frame rails. Otherwise, it's a very complete car other than rear window and the windshield has been stored inside for quite a while. It's missing the 71 grill, but does come with a pretty decent 70 grill. Uh, full video on that one will be coming up here in a little bit. The 69 Plymouth Fury four-door. This is a really cool, really clean car. It does run, but it needs a timing chain. I have it, and I'm probably going to do all the timing chain and make it a runner driver and then sell it. There's also a video that I've been working on for it. Um, just... Well, you'll see it when it comes out, but it's basically trying to get it running and driving and all the uh, um, figuring out what's wrong with it and everything. Anyway, so you'll see that in the future. That is sold. These trucks are sold. Roadrunner is sold. Uh, this truck will be available. This is a 1981. As you can see, somebody built this probably in the 90s. Uh, it's got all the flares and stuff. It's lifted. It's got some definitely 90s wheels. Has a 440 in it. Um, interior is not bad. Uh, has old like stereo gauges. Seats done. This truck has a lot of potential. It's really cool. Has a title. This one's going to be ready uh, pretty soon. And man, I would love to see that truck saved. I just don't have any desire to do it myself. Uh, but definitely a lot of potential that one could be ready as is or we can wait until i have it running and driving but if you're interested hit me up this truck sold 71 duster this is just a slant six car but it is super clean just a little bit of rust it's a california blue plate car <clears throat> 
Uh, like I said, a little bit of rust. It is complete, other than somebody stole the keys out of it. Uh, pretty nasty inside, but a great project. Has a title. I'm going to be digging this car out here after we get back from spring fling and getting it ready to sell. I think I have some slotted mags and stuff I'll throw on it. And so the price will just kind of reflect on what I do to the car. But that's a really solid, awesome project for somebody. Uh, lots of potential. Uh, anyway, I think that's about everything I have here at the yard that I'm going to be listing. I've got some stuff elsewhere. And we still have 15 cars we got to pick up uh, about 200 miles from here. I just remembered I do have some other stuff out here. So this 75, I believe, Dart, disc brakes, parts car. So if you see anything or whatnot that you need, just let me know. Uh, it's pretty rough, but lots of parts. 65 Imperial has a title, 413. It's going to be available as a project. It's pretty solid. Parts car, I believe that's a 63 Dodge wagon. The top's been cut off. Um, everything's available off of that except for rear seat and rear bumper. We need that for our Max wagon. This, I believe, is a 65 Dodge or Plymouth. It's all parts, anything you see there. And then a really, really solid. 71 uh dart swinger and it might be a 70 actually but uh it's a parts only really solid though uh very nice body uh but it's parts only so if you see anything let me know also there's a 70 satellite over here this car is available at, or just parts are available let me get to it um, it was a sport satellite. It does have, it's four door only, but it does have the really cool uh, split bench seat for the front. It's not currently in it, but I have it. That seat is available. And then I've got that 78 Chevy K10. That truck runs other than it needs a carburetor. So if you pour fuel down the carb, it will fire up. Um, but anyway, so that's what I have available currently at this very moment. I do have, like I said, a bunch of other vehicles that I've got to go get. Uh, just kind of making room in here and just waiting until after I get back from Van Nuys. Uh, lots of parts, lots of cars, all sorts of stuff still coming. Uh, anyway, so like I said, anything you're interested in, just hit me up. Email shadetreevintageauto at gmail.com. Uh, it's going to be down below. Uh, be sure to follow along, subscribe, whatever, so that when I post these videos of each individual car, that you'll be able to be notified. I think I missed that car. That car is sold also. It's 69 Dart. Um, but yeah, just uh, uh, follow along and see what comes up. I'm working on a lot more content. Um, it's just so much work, and right now is my busy time going back and forth to swap meets and stuff everywhere. And, uh, but there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff coming down the pipeline along with all these projects and other projects. Uh, I also, cars that aren't here that will be available. I've got a 66 Mercury Comet uh, that's built for a race car. I've got like an early 70s Chevy Vega that was built for a race car. 50 Plymouth Business Coupe that's uh, being built into a gasser. I've got a 1975, I believe, duster has a 440 in it ran high sixes in the eighth mile that's going to be available it's a done ready car comes with enclosed trailer tools and everything you'll literally be able to hook up and go racing um i've got a 1975 i believe w600 wrecker 1960 l700 uh like essentially a semi from 1960 it's got a hemi in it that truck's supposed to run drive 64 Galaxy, 62 Nova, um, 51 Dodge Panel, all sorts of stuff. Plus, I still have all of these Dodge trucks back here. Those are pretty much all for parts. So you see any parts you need, or if you think of anything, also feel free to hit me up. And just know if I don't respond immediately, I will get to it. Um, it's it's kind of hard to do everything and be 
I'm not gonna say a one-man show, but I pretty much do a lot of this stuff just by myself. So just bear with me and be patient and I will get to you. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on the notifications so you can see when I post all these videos.